Okay, so what's up guys? I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, what we're going to talk about is Sam Polder's latest video transition. So I've already made a transition on one of his techniques, which he showed in his latest video in one of my previous videos. But in this particular video, I'm going to show this missed transition and how to do this missed transition in both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. Now, just to be clear, most of the videos, most of the breakdown videos on YouTube, they show that Sam Golder used some kind of particular techniques in After Effects or some kind of overlays in Premiere Pro, but that is usually not the case. I have seen this particular footage in Sam Golder's Instagram stories and that drone footage actually had the missed in it. But most of you say that the mist is fake and are applied in After Effects or any other kind of 3D software. But that is, I don't think that is actually the case because I think it is shot in camera. Most of the stuffs are done in camera. The fade out effect of the first clip into the second clip that might be done in post. But the mist which is there in the second clip is actually an in camera effect and it is actually the mist which was there in that particular location. So most of you who say that he actually manipulated some fog or mist effects in After Effects, I don't think it is true. I don't believe it is true because Sam Golder usually likes to do these things more naturally using his drone. But in this particular video, what we're going to do is we're going to basically do this particular technique totally in post because I know most of your drone footages will not have fog, right? So you're not to just add in fog, you need to download the free pack. I have made two packs, a free pack and a paid pack. The free pack is in the link down below and there is a paid pack as well where I have just manipulated some fog effects in After Effects and save it up as a file for you guys to use. So if you guys are thinking in investing for a fog effect then you guys can definitely purchase the full pack as well. So with that being said, let's jump right into Final Cut Pro and yes, the Premiere Pro then skip to this portion if you guys are thinking of skipping to Premiere Pro directly and with that being said, let's get started. And yes, before that, what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy. I make regular tutorials on cinematography, filmmaking and all those other stuff. So you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, then do make sure to subscribe to this channel, press a like on this video, comment down below and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. So this is the first footage which I'm going to take. It must be a drone footage and if it has fog, then it will be much more better. So the first thing which I'm going to do is, just as you can see, this is the first footage. So in the first footage, just go to the ending and go around 12 to 10 frames back. And then place a marker by placing M. Go to the color panel, create a new color board, go to the matte portion of the timeline, then set a keyframe to the exposure, go to the ending of the clip. Then increase the exposure and adjust it in such a way that it seems like that it is kind of fog. Like the settings which I am going to use right here. So after playing around a little bit more, I feel this setting suits the best need to make it a little bit foggy. So as you can see it looks a little bit like a fog. So now what I am going to do is just drag the second clip below the first clip at the point where I just place the marker and then for the first clip just click on command plus G to create a cross dissolve transition just like this and just make the transition a little bit more smoother and then after that drag an overlay which is there in the download link below this is from the full pack but you guys can definitely use the free pack as well and this is another overlay which is there in the full pack so as you can see these are some really good fog effects which I have made in after effects so now go to effects panel, just change the blending mode to screen and then reduce the opacity to around 25%, 28% and do the same thing for the second clip as well. Now just play it once. As you can see the second clip is not lined up properly so I'm going to just increase the scale and then position it properly. Now this looks much better. Now I want to just add a cross dissolve transition to this particular effect. But one thing which you guys need to make sure is that the speed of the fog and the speed of the drone footage must be exactly the same. Otherwise this effect will look really really fake. So as you can see the fog is moving a little bit faster than the drone footage. So I'm going to just increase the speed of the drone footage. 
that looks really good. After that, I'm going to just add a cross dissolve transition by clicking command plus G. And just trim it down just a little bit and play it back. It looks really good. Now one more thing which I can do is I can just go to the free pack. A little bit more cross dissolve transitions here and there. After that what you can do is you can just go to the free pack and just we can use one more clip from there as well just to show you guys how to use the free pack as well so as you can see the free pack is pretty long so i'm going to just cut short a small segment of the free pack so right around here will be pretty good so cut around this much portion and drag it above just like this trim it down now go to the effects panel type in keyer Grab the keyer onto the clip just like this and it does the job pretty well automatically now after that it is pretty important to reduce the opacity otherwise it will not look good and it looks really good after that i'm going to just add a cross dissolve transition and the next most important thing of this particular transition is the sound effects sound effects of fog is really important and i have already given out a sound effect pack for ambient noises already there the link is in the description so you guys can definitely download the sound effects pack as well so with that being said this is how we do the job in final cut pro x now we are in premiere pro so this is the footage which i'm going to take these are the overlays these are actually the full packs but you guys can definitely check out the free pack as well and use it from there as well. So basically what I'm going to just simply do is just grab the overlay over the first clip and make sure it lines up properly just like this. And right now you can see only the overlay but make sure you guys get this properly because this will be a little bit confusing. So make sure to grab the first clip one layer above and grab the second clip right below the first clip. Then go to the first clip, hide the overlay clip so that you guys can see the first clip. Then go around 12 to 10 frames back from the ending of the first clip and place a marker and make sure to place the second clip right below that marker portion. And then after that, what you need to do is just go to the color panel, color grade the footage in such a way that it seems like it is a little bit foggy, like the whole screen is filled with fog. This looks really well, but you guys can definitely play out with your own footages because each and every footage will differ a little bit. Now go to the FS control panel and then in the limitry color section as you can see all the tones are already there with the newest settings. Just go to the ending frame and set a keyframe to the exposure contrast highlights shadows and all the things which you just changed and then after that go to the mart portion this is important just go to the mart portion which you just marked a while ago and then change all the exposure contrast highlight back to zero just like this adjust the keyframes if you guys have to and that is pretty much it the fake fog effect is pretty much done but we are going to do a lot of things with this as well so now unhide the upper layer and change the blending mode to screen as you can see it looks a little bit fake so change the opacity Make sure the keyframe is deselected and change the opacity to around 28% and 25%. Alright, after that, just go to the mart portion and drag the second overlay right over the mart portion. Just like this. And make sure to change the blending mode of the overlay to screen. And if you want to, you can change the opacity as well. And then right around here, as you can see, the fog is a little bit disoriented. So I'm going to just increase the scale and reposition it just a little bit. Right around here. So it looks pretty good. But the last thing which I'm going to do to this particular technique is that you guys can add a cross dissolve transition to the first clip. Or what you can do is you can just keyframe the opacity from 100 to 0%. So that is what we are going to do. Just go to around the frame where you just marked using the marker and set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to 100. And then go to the ending of the first clip, 
set a keyframe to the opacity and set it to around 0. And that should do the job pretty well. After that, just render it out. Okay, so right now my computer is running a little bit slow, so I'm gonna just skip the rendering portion and this is how this effect looks after the sound effects, the sound design and all those other stuff. So this is how the final effect looks. Thank you so much. This is how this effect is made. I'm sure Sam Colder used some in-camera effects. The fog is already in camera, shot already in drones. But I have showed you guys how to make this particular effect in Final Cut Pro and in Premiere Pro in total in post-production. So the download links are in the description. You guys can definitely check it out from there as well. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pixel Sam.